recording. Um, I'm going to go through just your summative and kind of work through each step. Um, some will have longer videos, some will have shorter ones. Uh, this will be the first video for this. Uh, so we're just looking through. So I just want to give a video, uh, a video explanation, oral explanation of what you should have in each part of this, of your game design. So the first thing here is we're doing that, uh, we're going through stage, or like criterion A, where we need to do some research. Always a good idea to do some research first before you start making a product to see what might already be out there, uh, to figure out what kind of elements you might be able to include in your game. So I try to make this really simple. Uh, I want to include three examples, and actually, while we're doing this, I'm going to put some things on there, give you some space. Um, so you can tell me the game that you're you're talking about, and then what do you like about this game? Like, why did you choose to include this particular game on the list? Um, what about it do you like? Because hopefully what you're thinking about is, I really like this type of game, or I like this out of the game. And then we can look at, in the uh, far column, what kind of things are you going to, what kind of ideas are you going to take from this game and apply to your, <laughs> apply to your game? Uh, because that's kind of the whole point, right? You're going to look at somebody else's thing and say, hey, I can take these ideas and put them in my game. And that can be something as simple as like having lives. It can be like, what kind of elements do you like out of the game that you're going to try and include in yours? So be thoughtful.